Hey y'all, it's me Lauren, aka Low So Natural. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. If you aren't familiar with who I am and what I talk about on my channel, I love talking about natural skincare, hygiene, fragrance, black owned businesses, and everything that feels good to my soul. So if I love it, I'm gonna talk to you about it because you might love it too. I have participated in Bath and Body Works 425 sale they had a couple weeks back and I finally got my package. My package definitely was delayed a while and it was predicted to be delivered on the 6th and every day it was getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and I'm like, okay, when it comes, it comes. It is what it is. And I'm finally about to open it, okay? I've had it for a day. It finally arrived. So it is Friday. It is still Bath and Body Works body care day i have changed my clothes i came home and got comfortable and that's why i look like this i even changed my glasses i'm like i don't feel like wearing them right now this is my package i have to give my disclaimer that bubba is in the background so you probably will hear her you probably will hear her okay just a disclaimer so for all of you all that don't know, I use all natural skincare. I use skincare products to buy black owned businesses. So I really only use body butters and body oils. And I just got into my natural shea and aloe lotions as of recently, but I don't use Bath and Body Works lotions and I don't use their shower gels. I only use their fine fragrance mist and perfumes. So I only get fine fragrance mess <laughs> and some household stuff but that's not what this video is about so if y'all are like why does she always only talk about fine fragrance mess and nothing else because that's all i use all right so i I'm trying to think are there any announcements i need to make I do have an announcement, but I'm gonna do it at the end of this video. If you would like to hear my second opinion of the trio of the new Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist that were dropped, the Sapphire Moon, the Golden something, the golden eclipse and the prismatic stars if you want to know how i feel about them a couple hours after i smelled them for the first time stay to the end of this video y'all my daughter is not happy right now so i'm gonna make this as quick and as seamless as possible these are all new to my collection i don't have any of these i've never had any of these and I'm just excited to smell them. Some are actually blind buys because I'm going, I'm filling y'all in if y'all don't know. For any new subscribers, I stopped using Bath & Body Works for a number of years and 2022 was the first time I had purchased and used any of their products since I was in college. So some of these scents I'm just not familiar with and some of them they only have online right now so I couldn't even smell them in the store and there was two fragrances I wanted to actually purchase but I was not able to because I checked out too late in the day the sale started that morning and that was the day of my daughter's birthday party so I didn't have the time to devote to really sitting down and figure out what scents I wanted and whatnot until it was like 11 p.m. And by that time, Pink Suede was sold out, y'all. And I wanted Pink Suede so bad, like, I don't have any backups to any scents that I have with the exception of I have a Dream Bright full size and I have a Dream Bright mini. Other than that, I literally have no backups. I'm not that kind of girl right now. I'm just gonna use what I have and focus on that. I don't want an expansive collection. I just want what I'm gonna really use. 
And I do know Bath and Body Works sometimes does not bring scents back. And I'm sorry, I'm making this intro really long, but I just want to fill y'all in. So, Pink Suede was sold out and Starlit Night was sold out because I do have the mini in that and I like it so much. I was like, I should probably get the full size. And that was sold out too. So, I was hurt, but these are the ones I was able to get. Now we're going to get into the first scent. I'm just going to pick them at random. This is Sensual Amber. I personally never had this scent, but my mom did when I was growing up. So, I kind of remember what it smelled like. And the scent notes are golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. I just remember this being this grown scent, but I still like to smell it. And I think I would spray it every now and then when I was like in middle school, high school, whatever. Oh yeah. This is better than I remember. Sensual amber is very warm. Mm. warm and ambery very pretty I'm definitely going to put this to use get me some good layering combos oh yeah very sensual amber definitely like it highly recommend it if you like amber next is hello beautiful because I have a lot of fall scents in my collection and gourmand scents and whatnot I said let me get prepared for the spring because I don't have that many spring scents I have a couple that I could wear in the spring but I needed some more that's why I got hello beautiful the fragrance notes are white gardenia jasmine petals magnolia blossom pink nectarine and cotton musk I'm excited to smell this I felt like I could either love it or hate it. It was a strong whiff I just got. Let's see. Hmm. It's very airy. It says, say hello to beautiful fresh flowers picked just for you. It does, it's a very floral smell, as you can probably tell by the bottle the packaging which is actually beautiful hello beautiful i like it i like it as a person that is just now coming to really like florals yeah this is a pretty scent this is a floral fresh airy perfect for the spring and summer yeah highly recommend I was really hesitant because I'm like I don't know I'm glad I got it moving along next is snowflakes and cashmere I smelled this in the store one time because I had a free full size item up to $16.50 and I was trying to decide between Fireside Flurries and this one and in the store Fireside Flurries beat it beat it out so I said let me try it again because it's on sale the fragrance notes are vanilla cashmere cream caramel woods and frosted clementine okay this smells better now that I'm smelling it one on one, it smells better. I like it. I understand why a lot of people like it. You get the cashmere cream and the clementine and a little bit of the caramel. Okay. I do like it. In the store, I didn't care for it so much but I do like it more now. Glad I got it. Cause sometimes once you don't get the best first impression, you're like, no, I don't want it. I'll be good about it. But then I'm like, well, what if it's really good? And I just, my nose was just broken for a second. <laughs> I'm trying to get my energy back up. But every time I have to stop and my daughter is fussing and crying, y'all. 
I'll be like, Lord, just give me the strength. This is something I've been wanting to do. And now that I have an opportunity to do it, I'm getting stopped every second. Okay. The next one is Rose. As I said previously, I was not the biggest fan of floral up until this year and I've been giving them a chance. I love the saying, you're the one which has rose in it. So I said, Bath and Body Works might know what they're doing with the rose. So gave it a chance. The fragrance notes are airy rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. Okay. Wow. I do like this. It's rose. Like, it's, it's a strong rose. It's not a bad rose. Not a bad one. But you got what it says. It says it's called rose and that's what they gave me. So I like it. I definitely feel like I can pair it with my other rose scents. And I love the way this bottle looks like it's so pretty. This is stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, okay? Yeah. The next scent is Poppy. When I participated in my first little Bath and Body Works haul, it was like a $5.95 sale. No, it was a $5.00. 50 sale and I smelled poppy in the store now it was about to be fall so I didn't really feel the need to get this but I did actually really really like it in the store so I said all right I remember really liking it off my first initial smell so the fragrance notes are fresh morning dew wild poppies sugared rhubarb and juicy pear I know this is more of a perfumey scent. Mm-hmm. This smells so good. Yeah. If you like a little fruity, floral, with like an airy, fresh smell, Poppy is for you. Poppy is pretty too. I love this. Aesthetic. All right, y'all. So, I'm back. It is hours and hours later. My daughter is finally asleep so I can finish going through this Bath and Body Works haul. Y'all, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Okay, the next scent is Wicked Vanilla Woods. This was another fall favorite for a lot of people. When this came out, I did smell it in stores. This came out with Enchanted Candy Potion, which I did pick up at the time. I was not sold on this scent, but the day I went in store months and months and months ago, they did not have the scent test strips and I probably did not get the best smell and impression so the fragrance notes are magical vanilla glowing amberwood and enchanted pink pepper let's see miss wiki vanilla woods honestly i'd never really cared for the packaging like it's cute but it's definitely given halloween and it did come out around that time, okay? So it was time appropriate, but it's just personally not my favorite. But it is what it is. Y'all. So much better than the first time I smelled this. I see why people like it, okay? It's a vanilla scent but you get the pepper, so it elevates it, like it smells expensive. And you also do get the woody note, 
the amber wood is good with the vanilla. It definitely has that peppery zest or twang to it, but it smooths out. It's actually a very smooth, creamy vanilla, just with a little bit of oomph to it. Okay. I just was like, I don't know what people smell in Wiki Vanilla Woods, but I get it now. I'm glad I got it. I slept on you for so long, so long. I recommend. The next set is blush cardigan. So I smelled this in store a little bit after it came out and I liked it. It was a quick just little run to the store because I wanted to smell this. I wanted to smell the whole collection because I do not have cozy evening and I wanted to smell it. I'm not the biggest fan of lavender and you know just to give a little spoiler i did not get that one i have fireside flurries which has lavender in it and i'm like that's enough lavender in my collection for me all right i did not feel the need to get cozy evening even though it is a nice smell i will give it that but when i smell blush cardigan i'm like i like it now, I wasn't prepared to pay full price in the store or whatever sale they were offering that day was not worth my while. I knew it was going to go on sale, so I waited and I got it now. The fragrance notes are sweet raspberry, sugar dipped violet, and warm amber. Let's see. Mm. It definitely smells like the raspberry, but it does have this sugary. It's like if somebody sprinkled some powdered sugar or something on some raspberries. Mm. and the amber you do get it but it's not overpowering like it's not like central amber when you know you're gonna get strong amber like you get it but it's so smooth like it's like a fluffy raspberry with powdered sugar with a dab of amber and a dab of violet. It's actually a very, very cozy scent. Like I get where they were going with blush cardigan. That blush is like the scent I'm getting with the powdered sugar and the raspberries. It's like this almost I don't want to say airy, but it's like a puff cloud. It's a blush, okay? I like it. It's like fruity. Fruity and pretty. Like, I, I actually really like it. Now that I'm taking more time to smell it, I appreciate it. And because I just pulled that one out, I got a pull wrapped in vanilla out. I did smell this the same time I smelled blush cardigan and cozy evening. The fragrance notes are soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. I do actually really enjoy the packaging on these two some people say you know it doesn't do a lot for them I like these a lot 
in comparison to a lot of the other styles of packaging. But you know, it's all subjective. It's all a matter of preference. Ooh. Honestly, when I smelled this in the store, it was not at all what I was expecting. It's not the type of vanilla I thought it was gonna be. But it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It has this gourmand quality where it smells dessert-like. But it's not quite, it's not as gourmand as like Merry Cookie and, or Christmas Cookies, but it leans in that direction, but just more vanilla and less of like a caramel or a, the other scent notes like. I'm gonna spray this on me. <sighs> yes. Yes. <sighs> I can't wait to pair this with so many things. This is good. So good. Better than vanilla bean Noel. Better than warm vanilla sugar. It's top tier. The next fragrance is a fragrance I smelled in store months ago and didn't care for it. But everybody loves this scent and I feel like I needed to give it another chance. And that is fairy tale. The fragrance notes are pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, and vanilla bean, and warm amber. Okay, y'all. It was something about this that I did not like or did not care for. It does have this perfumey quality. <sighs> and I appreciate it for that. It's been compared to YSL Libre and what not and When I first sprayed it, it's cool. It's not my favorite. But now that it's drying down, I do like it more. I'm gonna spray this on this arm because I need to see what it's gonna smell like. Cause right now it's giving nice, it's just not my favorite scent profile. smells good I feel like I can put it to use but right now I can't say it's my favorite and that is fairy tale it doesn't smell bad on my skin okay fairy tale last but not least is a scent that I line bought. I don't think I ever smelled this in the store. And that is Gingham Love. I have smelled Gingham and it doesn't do anything for me. And this looks like somebody been using it. I ain't tripping, but 
the fragrance notes are sugared red berries, blushing, freesia, and rose meringue. I told y'all, I've been dibbling and dabbling in the rose. And it just sounds like I might like it. Let's see. Hmm. I definitely get berry and floral. I like it. It's more of a clean floral. It's not super... I was gonna say it's not super heavy. This is another one that I would kind of drop in the fairy tale category where I like it. I don't love it, but I do like it. And that is Miss Again on Love. I'm like, fairy tale, you are right. So that was all of the fragrances I got during Bath & Body Works 425 sale weeks ago. I know it's the holiday season, so shipping can get a little crazy and whatnot, but I was waiting for this package. And literally every day it was supposed to be delivered. The date kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. But they're here now, and I feel like my Bath & Body Works collection is finally complete. I say complete because semi-annual sale will be the day after Christmas, and you never know what they're going to bring back. And because this is my first year supporting Bath & Body Works, and I really did not support them until mid-summer, late summer. So it's only been like six months or so. I have some amazing fragrances, but more of the later releases from this year, as well as some of the Bath & Body Works staple products. So I would love to see what they're bringing out for semi-annual sale some stuff i don't have and have not had access to in store or online as of recently so you know i'm not gonna say this is my complete collection for forever it's my complete collection for now and i very well might not get anything during semi-annual sale but I finally feel like I have some spring scents, I have fall scents, I have scents I can wear in the summer. But I know there's always more to be had. But I'm content. I'm content right now. I finally got Miss Fairy Tale. So, yeah. Something I wanted to mention in this video that I forgot to talk about in my body care day pickups video is based on my first impression of my first smell of life of the party and winter cherry blossom what i thought what i thought was they were not noteworthy or mention worthy hence why i did not even talk about them i didn't even think to talk about them i was not impressed by life of the party the scent notes had me a little intrigued because I'm like, I think I might have something I can pair this with. But when I smelt it, I'm like, it's on sale and I still don't want it. Same thing for Winter Cherry Blossom. I am not a fan of Japanese Cherry Blossom. That is a scent I actually did used to wear when I was a child, but would not wear that scent now and winter cherry blossom it did not smell exactly like japanese cherry blossom but it also was not a scent that i liked so 
I wanted to mention that just in case y'all were like so did your store have like the party and went to cherry blossom because you didn't talk about it yeah I forgot to talk about it yeah did not care for those just a FYI so I just want to thank you all for watching thank you for the support please make sure you continue to like comment share and subscribe please subscribe if you are not already subscribed but thanks for watching love you guys